Hot Pot for One is an interesting, short, sharp and sweet narrative experience that's over in 15 minutes, but the story itself doesn't hang together in a cohesive or depth-filled way, and so I came away feeling really nonplussed about the whole experience. The game starts out with you choosing from some meat and vegetables in your menu because you're having a communal hot pot, but your two mates counsel on you after you've ordered, so you've got all of these ingredients but no one else to eat with. The game devolves into two different types of gameplay. The first one is the cooking of the hot pot. So you pick up with your chopsticks um, just through clicking and mouse and just dropping things in. Very, very simplistic, almost like a basic bitch cooking simulator style game. Just dropping things into the pot and turning on the stove and eventually things will get cooked and then you can pick bits out and eat them as and when you want. The second part of the gameplay is looking around, albeit from a stationary sedentary position. Uh, around your kitchen and so you can open up some cupboards you can open up the fridge you can look at what's next to the stove all of that kind of stuff and some of these objects will trigger memories that are supposed to paint out a bit of a picture of your life the problem with all of this is that they are single frame cartoon drawings that feel like impressionist paintings and they're rough and they don't offer any context, they offer nothing to the actual narrative experience. And so it just looks like I've collected 20 drawings that my child would have done from school. And they're the kind of things that you put up on your fridge and go, well done, and then you'll be like, mm, that's going in the bin later. <laughs> so it doesn't really work. And there's no real story to think of um, outside of a nice little kind of bit at the end where I was like, oh, there's where the story was, but it's after the game's finished. It left me cold, it left me unengaged, and it just doesn't hang together as a narrative experience. However, the thing that pissed me off most about this game, this is a very personal pet peeve, is that at the end, once you've done all your hot pot, it then moves through to this, I can't keep all this ingredients, I'm going to have to put some in the Tupperware box, and this is like the final bit of the game. But the Tupperware box is so small and the ingredients are so big, they all kind of spill out onto the floor everywhere and it's an absolute mess and it doesn't work at all. But then it goes, oh, the Tupperware's full, and it goes into the fridge. And then you go to the end credit scene where whilst a Korean like dramedy love song is playing out, you're just tipping all of this ingredients into the bin. And I was like, no, I'm triggered. I can't stand food wastage. It really f pisses me off. And this game just made me rage with the fact that I was listening to like some poor Korean girl just going, Wah -ha! like with a dramatic ballad, whilst all this food was getting tipped into the bin. Oh, oh, no, triggered. No, 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 no. So yeah. I got more out of that, and that made me more emotionally charged than anything else that this game had to offer. And so yeah, there's my review. I think people who like those quirky, weird, short and sharp narrative experiences might get some enjoyment out of this, and you can play through it a couple of times and do some different combinations of hot pots, but because you're not really scored and it doesn't really matter what you do with any of this, it all feels a bit meh. And that's generally how I felt about this game written review will be over on highplanegames.com. I'd suggest you spend your money on a takeaway and have the hot pot yourself. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.